Hey everyone, boy do we have an amazing show today because Moo is gonna be introduced to the best drill in golf. I can't believe we haven't done that yet with you, Moo. No, man. And wait till you see this guy. We just did a little warm up this morning just to introduce the drill to him. In five minutes, you should see this guy hit. We hit a seven iron 170 carry. So you will be amazed at the power and the accuracy that you're gonna get out of this feet together drill. So stay tuned, this is gonna be an awesome one. But of course, before we start, you gotta subscribe to the channel. And Sav, what else do they have to do? Give us a like and leave a comment down below, please. And thank you. I'm gonna show you a little bit of technique, very important. You'll see another video we did called the best drill in golf, feet together drill. And then you're gonna see how we apply it to the driver later on in the video. You won't wanna miss that. And of course, chipping is amazing feet together. So, and you see a, a nice little excerpt that we did with Tiger Woods. Tiger loves to chip with his feet very close together and the ball off the outside of his back foot. And you'll see that what we just did in our, in our chipping video just last week. So without further ado, let me start with the technical aspect of it, then we'll get Moo in here. So, uh, and, and Moo is like fresh from this morning, you won't believe it. It's, uh, it's really, really cool to see him go. So. When you put both feet together, it'll feel like both arches are fusing together like suction cups. And you want to feel like both knees are also together. We don't want any Elvis Presleys or any Michael Jacksons. So we're looking for, notice how the, the, the legs are turning together. Now, one arm is 9% of your body weight times two plus a club for a 200 pound person like me, that's about 40 pounds of arms. So when those arms go that way, something has to counterbalance in the opposite direction for me not to fall down. So you'll feel your butt swivel toward the target. So all of you out there suffering from swaying, this is the exercise for you. So. Notice how my arms are counterbalanced. Now when my arms fall through to the target, notice how the butt returns in the opposite direction. That's what gives you that catapult effect to send the arms toward the target. Now, we talked about ground forces a lot in our videos. We were the pioneers of that over 15 years ago on YouTube. So you'll notice that because half your knee is your femur and your femur is your hip and we all know now because of our videos that the rib cage and the pelvis are turning together on top of the hips so notice the knees have to give so your body's going to come up in the backswing and then as the arms fall everything falls with it you'll come back down with your knees and then everything comes back up into the finish and you'll really feel that you're turbocharging the arm swing with this action. So it's out of the way, pump out of the way, out of the way. So you can see how you can really get some serious velocity with this. When I'm humming on all cylinders, this is at least 90% of my distance. And you'll see later on the golf course, we went out on the course, and you don't want to miss that. And we hit a few shots on the golf course on a par five. We did the tee shots and the second shots before we got caught up by the crowds because it's really busy these days on the golf course. It's, I mean, everybody's playing golf this year. It's unbelievable. We've seen a huge uptick in traffic. So you'll see how the distances were really not that far off. So to resume, if... I got my intermediate point always. I'm going toward that yellow post. I'm going to do back and through without stopping. See where that club wants to pass. There it is. Bring that to the ball. Now, if you, uh, I see my dandelion stem and I'm whipping through that dandelion stem in the direction I want that ball to go. So here we go. So, 
a little thin on the contact. We'll do one more. That uh, little cold today, huh, Sav? Yeah. <laughs> a lot cold. <laughs> the cool weather's coming. So I feel that weight. Gather. And there it is. That was smoked. So little seven irons basically are going about 160. So Moo, come on in, man. All right. This is going to be fun. And by the way, we're recording this on our second camera. We're, uh, we're performing this for our premium channel as well. And you're going to see some GoPro views on this one as well. Very good. So knees together, feet together yeah. with those gorgeous true shoes. Yeah. Man, that's looking great. No worries. So what was your focus? Uh, ball. I went for the ball there. So instead you want to feel like you're cutting through that stem, right? Yeah. Or you remember throwing the club. Yeah, I remember throwing the club. Okay. So show me a practice swing yeah. where you're throwing the club feet together toward that yellow post. Okay. There it is. Yeah. All right. Bring that in. So now make a prediction. If you throw the club toward the yellow post, is the dandelion stem in the way? Yeah. All right. Give it a nice throw toward the yellow post. All right. Very good. Let's see that one more time. I got it right in the same spot. Okay. Now, don't reach for it. Now, here's the deal. Yeah. Notice the distance between you and the ball. Yeah. It's going to change feet together. Okay? Yeah. So, if I go, let's go, let's see you go feet apart. Okay, right? A little wider. Show me that nice normal stance. Okay. Good. Now, go feet together. Doesn't that feel like you're reaching now? Yeah, it is. So you got to let that come in. Okay. So your center of gravity, when you go feet apart, so watch the difference here with the ball. Okay. So that's why I did my practice swing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, I'm going to go feet apart feet together, feet apart. See how it spreads my center of gravity? So when I go feet apart, my center of gravity lowers yeah. and my arms get further away from me. Right. Okay? okay? So let's see you do your feet together practice swings. Okay. Yes. Yeah, they're right here. Good. Bring that in. So doesn't that feel closer? That's way better. Yeah. All right. So let's see a nice throw toward the yellow flag. Excellent. That's better. Yeah. So let's see you throw it all the way through to that yellow flag. So did you feel that you're a little bit off balance? Yeah, I am a little off. Is it because of the lie? No, no, not, not because of the lie. Yeah. Um, because you went after the ball, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Now, here's the deal. Yeah. You'll notice, and this is something that you still struggle with in your swing when you get tight. Yeah. And it's normal. You're doing a feet together drill for the first time in front of everybody, yeah, right? Yeah, it's all, it's so great. when you do f back and through without stopping feet together, yeah. you'll notice you can't let the arms fall behind you. Yeah. You got to let the arms levitate up the rib cage. Yeah. So, yeah, so if you keep the arms, right, yeah. you're going, ah, I got to make sure, got to watch out. And then you, then you get all tense with the arms and you try to hold them to you yeah. instead of allowing them to climb the rib cage in the backswing. So show me a couple of practice swings back and through. Okay. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. There. Feel that? Yeah. So do you feel like the arms were levitating up more? Yeah. All right. There you go. So now let them swing freely through there. There you go, dude. There it is. Right? Yeah. So yeah. that one was, that, what club is that? 7 iron. 160. Okay. So 160 yard 7 iron with the feet together. And yeah. didn't that look like, it didn't feel like you were swinging that hard, did it? No, it didn't. Okay. But it came off the face so nicely. So you see the two wonderful lessons we just got, and that's yeah. why feet together is going to be a great drill for you yeah, 
Be because if you let the arms fall behind you, you got, you got way less platform. I see so many of you where in the backswing, you, you know, if the arms come too far behind you, you can counterbalance with sticking a knee out. Yeah, that's right. right? Yeah. But when your feet are together and the knees are together, you can't do that. No. So it actually forces your arms to come up in a balanced position in the backswing. Right. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah. So now we, you got a new found tool for practice. Yeah. And I, I can't wait to see what you do with the driver after, yeah. right? Yeah. I think this is going to tighten up your driver like crazy. Yeah, I think so too. Sav, you ready? Come on in, baby. Sab's got a little more experience with this, but we haven't done feet together with you since high school. Yeah. Which is, you know, we, uh, we kind of neglected the drill. Long so time ago. So let's see you do that back and through, down up, down up. Whoa, <laughs> all right. So this is gonna really tighten up that center of gravity. So what we're watching for with Sav is Here's what many of you are going to tend to do is your knees have a tendency to get out from center. See what your, what your feet are doing? Mm -hmm. So you don't want the feet to be rocking out. You don't, want to, you don't want to feel like the suction between the arches of your feet is being lost, mm -hmm. right? So maintain suction between the arches of your feet. Feel the diff? Mm -hmm. There you go. Good start. So use more momentum to hit that shot. All right, not bad. So notice you're just releasing a little bit too much at the ball. Yeah. So let's see you pump it through the stem and way out toward the target. <laughs> there it is 140 carry with a seven iron feet together yeah how cool is that right so the centering of the swing so i'd like to see you start your warm-up set because you chip feet together mm -hmm. and so show me a long chip feet together for me okay so do a couple of practice swings so long chip shot wide wide so that's typically how I start my, pre my routines. Mm -hmm. So a nice wide chip. Very good. And then you branch that out and you bring it up to a full swing now. Let's see that full swing again. Ah, so when you're standing over the shot, mm -hmm. What feel should you be looking for? So remember, we're doing an attacking throw yeah. in the direction you want the ball to start, right? Yeah. All right. Much better. And you want to feel that you're pumping that throw. Mm -hmm. So you remember the, the hammer throws. Yeah. So take your club like this. So imagine you're throwing the hammer with your legs, dear. There it is. Feel that? Yeah. So now do a practice swing and pretend you're throwing your club with your legs. Throw the club farther with your legs. Wow, much better. So if you throw the club out there, does it feel like the stem's in the way? Mm -hmm. Throw it out there. Better. So we're back up to about what, 130 I think? Yep, 123. So notice how that was still sticky down there? Yeah. So throw it out there nice and high. Now, here's one thing though. You can't have the ball too far back in your stance. Yes, so you want the ball in the center and the club right there. Yeah, it was too far back. It was way too far back, so you had to reach back to go get it. Much better. One more. Ball in the center, throw it out there with your legs. So do you feel a little bit more of a squat there? Yeah. So um, notice that you're still a little sticky down there. Yeah. Give yourself a little more room, Sav. 
with your with your arms. Ah, there we go. Flush, flush. So notice how you were keeping the arms a little too close to you? Yeah. So between you and Moo, we had a perfect setup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So stay with us. We're going to show you feet together with the driver now. Actually, we're going to start with the fairway wood to show you the difference in ball position. And so, Moo, uh, get your, your, your hybrid out for me. Okay. Okay? So, we talked about ball position where we want the ball in the center for the irons. And you'll notice as the butt returns, it pulls the hands past the ball. And that's where you get ball first, then ground contact. If you play the ball too far back, you have to reach back. And if you play the ball too forward, you got to lunge forward. So your feet together, you want to do the same Goldilocksing for your ball position. Okay. With the hybrid, yeah. because it occupies more space in the center of your feet, yeah. you'll put the club in the center. Come on over. Okay. Here, let's get let's get a little more a little more clean setup here. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay, good. Excellent. All right, so we want do a couple of practice swings. Okay. We want the club in the center. Yeah, yeah actually, Goldilocks it for yourself. Okay. Nice. Get those arms higher. Okay. Gather up. Feel the diff? Yeah, yeah I get more. That's I it, exactly. Pause. That's where the, exactly, just like that baseball hitter. Yeah. Okay. All right, nice shot right over that yellow flag. Nice. So. That was 192 carry yeah. boom, on a liner. That yeah. was that sucker would have been like 220. Right. That was gorgeous. Sav, come on in. Oh, already. Yes. Oh yeah, Moo. Moo's got this. This is like piece of cake, dude. So which hybrid is that? Two. You're two hybrid. All right. So do a couple of practice swings. So gather it, throw it out there. Yes. And and really, truly, Sav, this is something that, you know, I've been working with you for a while now uh -huh. and I just realized we should have been doing a lot more work feet together to get your legs pumping. Right. Okay. Awesome. Great shot. Started left, drawn all the way back to the yellow flag. That was a little off the toe. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That was 160. So about 180 total, not bad. So club in the center, a little more forward in your stance. There you go. Gather it, throw it. Awesome. <laughs> right on. 170 carry. That's pretty cool, huh? So um, let me do one right-handed for you guys. Feet together. Notice my club is right there in the center of my feet and the ball just forward of that. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of practice swings and watch where the club actually skips the ground. <laughs> See how there's a beautiful mark there on the way back and a beautiful mark in front on the way through. So get my intermediate point, check, just left edge of that. So the key now to really getting that hybrid or the, the longer clubs humming feet together is you really got to heave it into the backswing Matt Wolf style. So heave it up and let it float. Let the arms levitate up. Right, Moo? Yeah. And then we're going to use that momentum to throw it in that direction. How about that? How about damn apples? That got out there pretty good, didn't it? Yeah. 
So 206 carry with a, with a three hybrid. So the, the distance is quite significant. That was right in the nut in the center of that club face. So out of the way, out of the way. So uh, once you get the legs using really nicely, Oh, I had to, if you push down with those arms, <laughs> you're toast. <laughs> I mean, it still went straight. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it straight, right? Just only stuck it four inches behind the ball. <laughs> so you really don't want to, as soon as you push with the arms, it's all over. That's yeah. sabotage on a massive scale. So it's out of the way and you got to use your legs to throw it out there just like in the videos we did together right Moo? yeah so for me it's like i have to keep resisting the urge to 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 uh, strain through it so i'm using my legs with ease oh yeah there you holy go. look at that nice. nice huh that was sweet come on baby that's 202 but that was yeah yeah that would have been quite a, that would have been at least 230. Mm -hmm. So you see the awesome lessons we just got all the three of us together. That's why I love our team. Yeah. It really is kind of cool because everybody has a little bit of a tendency, you know, with what each person does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we're able to, you know, nip those in the bud so that you guys can get some fantastic results out on the golf course. So let's look at the driver now. For the driver, uh, we have a fantastic video on that, Feet Together with the Driver, but you'll have to go to our premium channel to get the, the, good, the, the good two uh, ended camera work, plus we're going to show you with the GoPro what that looks like when you do it Feet Together. So, In the meantime, enjoy these Encore shots, and we'll see you next week. Whip it through with my legs. Wow, that went far. <laughs> that was 263 carry. We got the wind behind us, and it, it's uh, it's creeping up to the front deck over there uh, <laughs> at the other front of the range because the tees are forward. So pardon my reaction because that was really nutted. And that was 2,000 RPM. So that would have that could have easily been 300 yards feet together right there. Uh, yeah just for you at Wisdom and Golf. How good is that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Squeak through. Oh, you'll have a shot. Right on, you snuck through the trees. <laughs> Oh. Looks like it's going to be right next to you, Moo. Caught it just a little off the toe.
Oh yeah! No smoke. <laughs> Look at that. Nice turn. All right, Sav, pump it over that tree. There's your intermediate point. Go. Hey, 90% air, right on. <laughs> <laughs> you made it through.